Hey guys. Hey guys, KCTZG here today with um, my Zorga list. Uh, this is the list I used for BCS uh, Anaheim 2022. And I in Swiss, I went 7-1, uh, sorry, 8-1. Uh, unfortunately, I lost in my semifinal round. So my ride deck is going to be the standard Zorga ride deck with Dream, ne Dream Needling, Optional Starter, Rancor Chain, Black Husk Dragons, and uh, Grave Eagle Zorga. So uh, for grade threes, we are going to be running three more Grave Eagle Zorgas as well as two Prison Dragons. Um, I feel that running more than two Prison Dragons results in a lot of bricks, normally dead hands, pointless cards in the graveyard. Yes, if you have three or four, you can consistently find them more often, but you are cutting more options in the deck, meaning you have less plays to work with. <laughs> Next, we are going to our grade twos. I am running four Shadow Cloak and three Clipping Dragons. So Shadow Cloak is very important in the deck because of the ability to search out your orders to send a graveyard to perform your alchemy magics. Um, I'm gonna go in depth later on which orders are best in which scenario, at least some of them. And Clipping was very, very crucial in, um, I wanna say all my games. He was my resource game, all, almost all my games. He gives me a soul charge, he gives me a counter charge, and the best part about it is I'm not forced to soul charge from deck, which is the worst case in this deck where you will deck out. Uh, it's also why I'm not running the Maiden that soul charges two on place. As long as I don't have a soul, I believe. So my grade one spot is gonna be four headhunters, two bells, and three planar prevent dragons now headhunter is the strongest booster you have in zorga uh as a base level bell is a strong booster in late game as well as allows you to recycle your orders and the three planar prevent dragons is because i am running the elementary sanctitude but i'll get to that later now unit wise this is very simple basic there's nothing special about the zorga list from there now from the orders here's where things get interesting so i am running two blitz orders elementary sanctitude as well as fine drink of uh of abolishment for sins now the drink is very strong a lot of games i played i was able to get drink off as well as have a turn for the next turn usually in the former persona ride and because I am running eight total orders apart from fine drink, uh, I have a maximum of 40k shield on this one card, meaning it is only 10k shield short of an over trigger, as well as the ability to dodge uh, mechanics like Flagberg that forced me to guard with two cards in a hand. This is a blitz order, meaning it dodges anything that says guardian circle. Now, grade one orders, I am playing an order to salvage and two of the new orders from test six. Now, a lot of my turns uh, did revolve around me using this order to grab these two cards back from previous discards, from previous turns or previous uses. Uh, I know this card gets that uh, removed from play, but if I haven't used it yet, I need to discard for cost. Well, I got him back. Uh, this card allows me to fill up my board again, just because it's a soul boss one. Yes, I'm milling a card out of uh, out of a top three, but you get to go through your deck. You get to see what you don't have or don't have just from three cards usually, as well as the ability to revive a unit that is great equal to or less than your vanguard. And this last card, to draw a card and top check, it's very strong because you get to psych your opponent out. You get to look at the top part of your deck, you can keep it or mill it, and then if you kept it, your opponent asks, now wonder, what trigger is it? What card is it? Now, my grade two orders are going to be Gather Upon Me, Ye uh, Wandering Souls, and Tearful Malice. 
Um, I did have someone ask me on um, in the channel in the comments uh, why am I not using uh, the moth dude? Uh, it's kind of about one kill two units, draw a card, he gains five k. Um, realistically speaking, this card it gives me a free soul. Uh, Mothman doesn't. Mothman also costs me a counter blast. Yes, I don't have to force myself to play Malice. I can play other order options. But realistically speaking, you I don't want to force an extra unit in my deck when I don't have unit space already because of how the deck is running. And then in my grade 3 order spots are going to be Cloud of Miasma and Death Inviting Black Magic. Now, Miasma is an extremely amazing order. It allows me to combine with Grave Eagle Zorga, essentially GDR every turn. I know a lot of you love hearing or playing with GDRs. So the extra tank in the front row is really good. The reviving unit is really strong, all for a counter blast. And Death of Mining Magic is honestly a really good get out of jail free card. The free plus two gets you there. It gets you the cards you need, it gets you the shield you need, and regard and on top of that, it makes you sometimes have just a free play for turn. Uh, you don't have to worry about counterbots for the round, you don't have to worry about anything for the round, just play this, forget all your counterbots problems. So combo-wise, I can't really tell you exactly what to do every every single turn. It is all based on how the deck flows, but my first turn, if I can set it up, I would always love to go Cloud of Miasma, Alchemy Magic into uh, Gather, Pommy, Wandering Souls. It is the biggest or strongest push turn a Zorga player can have and coupled with Dragons, it becomes triple drive. You have your board set up for 38k attackers, 48k for Persona Road, and you can, you can just filter out a lot of cards. Another combination I like to use is going to be the triple drive with the salvage. Now, when I salvage or add cards back, my specific targets normally are my blitz, my blitz orders. Uh, other, other than that, then give me an order that I can play next turn or just discard for free. Uh, a trick I like to do is when I use this, I discard one of my salvage targets. So if this is my hand already, I'll discard it to add it back. So I don't have to worry about having two on top of discarding one. And I can just have one, discard one, and add them both back. Now, honestly, it is always going to be based on uh, your situation. But I would just say playing this list, just be very careful and just think before you act when playing this deck. And then trigger-wise, um, this deck is running rainbow. Uh, there are times I would like to change. Sometimes I want to cut draw, sometimes I want to cut this OT, but more, more often than less, I run into problems of needing to hit these draws. The draw giving me what I needed for plays versus the draw or the OT decking me out. Yes, in my uh, my one loss, I did deck out because of the DOT, but I also decided to greed draw extra cards. Um, that's part of me misplaying. So honestly, uh, this deck it carried me all the way to top four. Uh, I have no regrets playing this deck, and. This deck itself gave me a lot of recognition, and on top of it, I hope to see some of you playing this deck next time I go to another event. Uh, I did see some fans, and thank you guys. So that's my uh, Zorgalus, guys. Thank you.